All right. Um, we should have done this with Prism. And probably we'll do it tomorrow. I, I just saw a uh, silver screen. Uh, if you if you can go to their uh, to their channel, they do they do uh, silver uh, silver screen Lakers, I think it's called. I'm gonna put it in my next uh, uh, live. I'm gonna do it through Prism. That let me put uh, things like 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 photos and and, and all kind of things on the. Uh, screen I'm doing now directly YouTube live there is something really bad uh, that I just realized I heard that Kurt Rambis would uh, was a string puller in the Lakers organization and that a lot of people uh, see him as the secret president, uh, a guy who can threaten everybody, and apparently, that threat to that threat uh, to Frank Vogel was directly from him. One thing that the the Silver Screen Lakers uh, tweet is saying, uh, I, I guess they are, they probably, I, I don't know if they are. Uh, getting it from somebody else or somewhere else, but it's that Kurt Rambis, Kurt Rambis was the guy telling Vogel that he needed to have the Andrew Jordan uh, putting up, uh, minutes, and uh, it was the hand behind the Andrew Jordan starting as a center in around 20 games. And either Frank Vogel stood up to him at a certain point and said no, or he realized that that was a mistake and let Frank Vogel do his thing. But if that is true, that means that he is responsible for a lot of the decisions that we might be blaming Frank Vogel for. That is totally unacceptable. Um, if I were a coach, and I would have somebody like that telling me how to do my job, I would, I would quit. Because I can't, you see, what Kirk Rambis did if he did this not only messed up the Lakers this year but put a real good dent in Frank Vogel's career after he brought a championship to the Lakers and that is unacceptable at any level like I said according to that tweet Kurt Rambles not only he was apparently the one who threatened uh, Frank Vogel's job, but also he was demanding that DeAndre Jordan had more time. And apparently he is behind Frank Vogel giving those minutes to DeAndre Jordan. And, uh, you know, it, it puts everything in a top in a tough place because having somebody telling Frank Vogel how to do the, his job affects Frank Vogel's credibility affects the stars when they realize that this is happening I'm pretty sure that LeBron has to be very upset about that and it creates attention to the team in that that you know so the coach is not the coach 
the coaches rambles behind the, you know, moving things behind the curtain. So now, Frank Vogel has to pay for Kurt Rambis. Uh, Russell Westbrook might have to pay for, you might be paying for that. And if he's new about it, of course, he's not in the best mood. And LeBron should not be in the best mood. You know, it's uncomfortable for the whole team when you know that somebody higher than your coach is taking decisions and threatening the coach. Now, Kurt Rambis, uh, I wonder if he's behind all those rumors about uh, shopping around set of players. And I wonder what does Jeannie Boss have to say about that? And I know the Rambis uh, have been a, 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 they, they have been in controversy for a while because they were uh, they were part of the rumors why Magic Johnson left the organization. It sucks because Rambis was Magic, Magic's uh, teammate. I don't know what to say, but this is horrible. If this is true, if this is true, the Lakers are going to be in a rough patch until the members of the boss family start taking notice of this. I am very upset because this guy is supposed to be a Lakers guy. Not a DeAndre Jordan's guy. Not a whatever player's guy. You know? And that's not a way to treat the coach especially a coach that brought you a championship, and he could have brought two if it wasn't for the injuries. It's unbelievable to me. If this is true, then I have to wonder if Vogel rotations are because of external petitions of his superiors. And if that is true, I think Vogel shouldn't wait until getting fired. He should he should uh, uh, quit, give them their notice, and 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 leave. No, don't let them fire you. Just say, okay, you want to be the coach? I'm leaving if you want to be the coach. Or you can let me be the coach and do the things that I have to do. This is terrible news because if this is true, the Lakers as an organization are going to look really bad. And I don't know if players and coaches are going to want to be to be in this organization, in the Lakers. And, and, you know, we had that. LeBron James got us out of that. And then Vogel also helped with that because he made the front office looks, look good. Because a lot of people were wondering how come the Lakers couldn't do a, a, a deal with either Monty Williams or with um, um, uh, Ty Lue, you know? So, you know, that's, I don't know. You know, I don't know what to say now. It, it, it's very confusing. It's very confusing. 
uh, 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 the Lakers as an organization, they need to address this before it becomes such a scandal that would make everybody, coaches, players, everybody, to think twice to become a Laker. That's all I got right now. Uh, I'll keep you posted. All right. Take care of each other and yourselves. May God bless you. And go Lakers. Bye-bye.